Welcome to raigurukul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about Jira plans or Jira plans in advanced roadmap. So we'll see here how to create a plan and customize the plan in Jira. Whenever we are working on any project that's required creation of plans so that we can ex execute the process or the project smoothly and even we can track it accordingly so at the point of creation of the plan we have to define several attributes like defining the plan name access issue source and refine issue displayed we can do lot many things at the time of creation of jira plan or plan in advanced roadmap in jira so if you want to learn about jira complete jira please watch my jira playlist where i've already covered lots of content about jira so those who are starting with the beginners and even anyone who is in experts and looking for jira training or tutorial please watch my jira playlist have all i've covered everything in detail and if you are visiting this channel first time don't forget to like and subscribe the channel now coming back to the creation of the plan simply at the time of creation of plans navigate to to the plan sections and click on create plan and for the most important part plan is not available in free version this is a premium functionality of jira products where if you have the license version or premium account then only you will be able to access this plan so for creation of plan simply click on plan and create plan it will navigate to the window where we have to define the plan name so let's say i'm giving a plan name as gurukul demo access these are the two options available in access only we can view the plan we can share for the individual users or groups later so private sections will help us to squeeze to the different team members so those who have the access of uh, this plan they will be able to access it otherwise if we are keeping all advanced roadmap user then whoever is having advanced roadmap access they will be able to access this plan so i'm keeping open now here we have issue sources so we can select the projects so when we are selecting projects we have options to customize the project whichever projects we are selecting we will be able to see that content available inside our plan even we can also select the filter so when we are selecting the filter if we have any filters that are available that data we can select it so let's go ahead with the project so right now i am selecting the project as organization managed scrum here we we have to select the teams as well if we don't want we can keep it blank even we can also add other filters like after selecting the project if we want to apply or even further drill down we can select the filter as well but if we don't have any requirement as such requirement we can keep it simple now refine issue display we can exclude some of the defects in every projects we have lot of issues are available when we are selecting the exclusion rule here we have to exclude any completed issue after 30 days we can exclude it even we can increase the day then exclude issue types so if we have any requirement like excluding epic story or bug we can exclude it so as of now i want to select epic story bug and task i don't want to keep subtask but i want the bug so here we are just excluding subtask so let's go ahead with this then the status if we want to keep on the status perspective that also we can define it then view release if we have any release available we can keep this now back to create plan we have set the definitions and click on create as of now single issue is impacted here so we don't have much issues are available that's why we are not able to see anything in detail so let's uh, again customize it or maybe we can select 
any other project within that plan or maybe you can work on this plan so here we have created the plan let me go to my plan google cool demo so let's see in which projects we have data then i will add that project here inside my plan yeah so acme website we have some data so let's create plan now here we have data available inside the plan so post creating the plan we have several options like if you want we can configure it if you want even we can take a tour uh if you are visiting first time this type of plans uh so click on take tour and it will navigate to the different options like get started so that will showcase saving changes on our uh, review changes then we have to read this definitions or details accordingly so if we are creating the plan first time that here we will get the complete guidance accordingly so even uh, we can uh, select on the different sections and uh, click on next and how this will showcase on the different sections about the tool so this is all about tool if you want any help we can uh, get help from here if you want to delete the plan simply click on delete and this complete plan will be deleted then we have filter options so for filtering options we can either we can select initiatives epic uh, story subtask then further we can divide it to uh this this one. then issue details if if you want to select any issue related release team so these all are the filter options that are available so that we can have the fruitful informations which we are looking for if we want to perform any bulk operation simply select these operations and click on bulk operations and if the changes whatever we are doing that will be applicable to all of the issues together which we have selected even we can update the details like assigning deeds parent rank release sprint and team uh, accordingly then here we have a field informations like start date due date status whichever you want to add we can add it here let's say i want to add the start date from today and we are finishing this uh, in within a sprint so that will be going to over on 30th so this is how we can define start and uh, due date inside our plan itself and here we have start date and end it right so exactly same thing let's do it for this one and keep it till here now if we have any dependencies we can define it according let's say this is having dependency so post completion of this we can able to do it so that's it calling out the dependency here status inside the status we we have to do but we can change it accordingly we have month wise plan so if we want to see today's uh, monthly plan or quarterly plan we can also see it according just specifying the filter and even here by selecting these options we can navigate it then we have different other sections like a uh, sprint capacity plan so when we are selecting the sprint capacity plan we have estimations priority sprint estimates and even we can add team and release detail here then post uh, doing all this activity click on review changes so once we'll review it and see if selected changes in jira then only it will be able to update the detail so this is how we can add and customize the detail according to our requirement so if we have say a new view or uh, discard changes or delete these all operations we can perform it easily by using jira advanced roadmap plan now here we have configuration sections uh, where we can schedule save view issue sources these all sections uh, we can customize it according to our requirement so that will cover in the customization sections of advanced roadmap plan in for the part of sessions so that's all from this video hope you think this will be useful and if you are wasting the channel first time don't forget to like subscribe and share within your circle thank you for watching